Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, mesdames y messieurs, and everyone in between. It is with great, great pleasure that we present to you the second annual Climate Games Award Ceremony happening live right before your very eyes. And... And, and because of the sensitive nature of the world-changing actions in which we are engaging, we are trying to remain anonymous, which is why I'm wearing a mask, as are the judges, so that no one will ever know who any of us actually are. Likewise, when anyone from your team is called up, either someone from your team can come up, or someone totally related who wasn't there, has a good alibi, uh, can come up and tell about what you did. Um, and just a reminder, if you would like translation, we have a fantastic collective here who would love to help you. So make your way to them now. And <clears throat> it is with great pleasure and without uh, further ado that I would like to present our distinguished panel of judges. Could we please have a round of applause for our judges? <laughs> of our planetary ecosystem that is on the verge of a global ecological meltdown. We have asked for help from other species because our species is obviously fucking shit up a lot. So we are hoping that their wise, biodiverse ideas can help guide us and our actions towards turning the tides around and rebuilding the world in which we all want to live harmoniously, human and animal. The first team, Pirates of Hambi, could summon some up. Yeah. Like the Pirates of Hambi, they squatted four excavators at the Hambach coal mine at, four, uh, at two in the morning of this day. <laughs> two of them in the middle of the mine directly, like the, the ones that directly dig the coal, another one really close to that and another one on the outskirts. And um, they got evicted at Four or five this morning, I forgot the exact time. Ooh, Ooh yes, it's horrible. And um, this, people made this action to, to make a point that the climate games are not only here, but everywhere. And they're not only... <laughs> and they're not only today, but they're every fucking day. So we did something against, against the oil and... Um, we were, we are a group from uh, Switzerland, Liechtenstein and Germany. We prepared uh, the tower ahead of time. You saw it lying there. And we actually do have a short video, 30 seconds. Theo, are you, can we show it? No? no. Okay, so I just go to the side and uh, we just did it over there. So for us, it was very easy to get there. But we had a hard time getting cleaned afterwards because we used syrup and it was very sticky. Okay. Our next team, hot peasants for a cool climate. So, um, we were a bunch of young, hot farmers 
Um, and we wanted to bring the, the question of agriculture and the climate change. And we were feeding the people in the teams with some um, cucumbers and watermelons and some fresh water and uh, some self-made songs. Divestment Donuts. So, we're the Divestment Donuts. Keep the coal in the hole. This was our motto. Uh, so the fossil free campaign or the divestment campaign is about institutions to take their money out of the fossil fuel industry. Now the blue team has a pension fund that has a lot of money invested in the fossil fuel industry. Yeah, I know it's really bad. Uh, so we figured this is an obvious audience for us. We're going to go to them and what do the police like? Donuts. We're going to buy lots of donuts. <laughs> We'll go there, we offer them donuts, and we ask them to sign our petition for the ABP pension fund to divest from fossil fuels. And we got seven signatures, which we were super happy about. And of course, we managed to also spread the word, so yeah, we're very happy about the action. Thank you. Hello. First, I want to do something to the people of Hambach. <laughs> okay, so we, we didn't really have a plan, so we just went there. And uh, we, heard of, uh, we heard of people who needed, uh, who were, were going to do some distraction thing. So we just went to a random building, uh, sang random slogans, and suddenly three police fans came. So it was distraction. And then one other team tried to climb some fence or something. I don't really know what they were going to do, but it didn't fail. It did fail, so that was a bit. But OK. And then uh, afterwards, we, we thought, oh, yes, we're going to climb on this transport band. But then, uh, yeah, we didn't really could climb. So that was really, <laughs> <laughs> that was really also. Awesome. So we ran back over the road, over the hills of ground. And then we thought, ah, oh, shit, we're gonna just going to put some shit on trains. And we even sprayed walls and trains. and. Yeah, that was everything. Okay. Three Musketeers. Okay, everyone. This one is getting really complicated, so I want to listen you to listen really carefully. We took some trees and put them on a railway track. That's it. <laughs> and a banner in between. Thank you. Bargain Music Orchestra. Hello, hello. Uh, wir sind die äh, Falken äh, Musik Orchest. Ähm, wir waren heute unterwegs mit die. Uh, sorry, wir was uh, on the way with the uh, slogan. Our English. Uh, uh, we uh, stop call or we uh, never stop playing. And. Uh, <laughs> I guess you had a lot of fun with our music. It was so nice. The blue team was really uh, amazed by the music, so they leave. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, and we blocked uh, somehow something. <laughs> Dead serious. Uh, we wanted to talk about the extinctions of species. So though the climate games are really fun and we had the amazing time. Like there are like five spe no three species dying every hour because of man-made climate change. That's 150 a day. So we used our bodies to <laughs> do this <laughs> uh, and go in front of different areas where there was like coal and oil and um, yeah, like these are loads of dead species names that are written all over our backs.
I have a feeling our panel of judges will like the interspecies one. First of all, I want to say, we are quite offended that we haven't been up first. Because we're rich, and we should be. So anyway. Hello, wage slaves. Hello, poor people. You suck. My name is Dr. Obamey. And I speak to you in the name of the greenwashers. So we would like this time we would like to take this time to appreciate your effort on our special day. Our lives are great, better than yours. <laughs> and filled with wealth, anyway. So sometimes though, we do get bored of playing golf, hunting animals, and exploiting you simple people. So we too like nature, like horseback riding, going on lavish cruises to exotic countries and watching the sunset from a penthouse. So we took this opportunity to make people invest in a better, greener future. And also to support our trusted friends, the police authorities, without whom eco-terrorists would seize their chance to enrich their lives at our cost, instead of contributing to a good and better society. <laughs> So on this hot day, our friends from the police force needed some refreshments. So we used yeah. local water and earth to greenwash their formerly unsustainable cars. <laughs> of course, nothing in life is free. So we sent them bills that will of course be paid for by the taxpayers' money. Thanks. Thank you, wage slaves. <laughs> Keep it down, people. We are convinced that this will help you realize that there's only one way to change the world. Money. 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 We will be the change you are looking for. Money will save you. Long live green capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, Beats Against Cold. We are raving against coal, roaring loudly against the coal madness. Many teams joined us. Um, I think uh, we almost succeeded in shutting down uh, the entire Amsterdam Harbor. <laughs> maybe, maybe next year, that's it. <laughs> Vegan Grill Masters. Um, yeah, uh, I hope uh, all of you uh, got to eat something. <laughs> and for those who did, I hope it was nice. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dirty little monkeys, come on up here, dirty little monkeys. Okay, um, well, dirty little monkeys, uh, we did a couple of dirty things in the past few days. Uh, this is a, uh, a banner drop we did two days ago. Um, a police officer identified me today. Uh, he said, well, it's not that hard because of the suit. Apparently, the thing is still hanging, so that means that over 300,000 cars have seen this thing. That is amazing, of course. Shh. 
So this morning, um, we saw there was a vacancy for energy operator at Nuance uh, Call Center. So I decided to call them this morning and, um, well, you know, of course, I satisfy all the requirements. Um, they were very much confused about the whole idea and, uh, well, I proposed that I would come up to their, you know, uh, building and uh, explain it a bit. Um, that's what we see over here. Well, actually, before this happened, um, I have to say we, we, had, a, we had quite a loss. Uh, my sister was taken by the, by the blue team at the coal heaps. Um, things didn't go that, um, that bad in the end. She's, uh, she's free already, but well, that's... Yeah. So then we, uh, we arrived at the building. Um, <laughs> And, uh, well, you know, I rang the bell and, um, well, they were not very much, you know, pleased with the whole idea. Um, we said, well, you know, we're very much qualified and we showed them a bag of coal, you know, just to, you know, have them see that we have, uh, we offer quality. But, um, <laughs> yes, but uh, it was not dirty enough. So... We'll, we will be back next year. More dirty tricks and more monkey business. I don't know how to pronounce this. Got, got, the grands. No, coffee crunches. Okay, we are quite an open team with quite an open plan, let's say. We, <laughs> we were planning that five of us would go inside the coal power plant and uh, put a banner up in a, on a crane while the others would do a picnic nearby on the railway to block the train that never arrived. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, well, that attempt was quite adventurous. Two of us got taken away by the blue guys. And now uh, they're still inside, I'm afraid. The rest of us had to, we had to make a second plan. So we had to stick in the area to bother the police as much as possible. The plan was to go again, hit again. The second time we managed to go through the first gate, took our banner, stayed there for a while, pushed, we were pushed out by the police, but yeah, yeah, we did our best, guys. <laughs> and so that was it. <laughs> Someone want to come up and talk about this? Maybe we can see a photo. And the banner said, climate is not a game, the harbor destroys. For clar clarity. How not to do an action? Can you tell us, Teresa? Teresa. I'm trying not to say his name. That's not her real name, anyway. <laughs> we will set out to do exactly what we don't have to do when we do an action. But I think we didn't succeed, so we really had a very nice action. <laughs> We started late, we didn't plan. <laughs> we tried a few things and uh, it didn't work out that much. <laughs> we kept on trying <laughs> until, I don't know, at least we had our ambition clear. And there's no more photo. <laughs> <laughs> Can a Jedi levitate up here? <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, so yes, we are the Jedi for Climate, uh, Justice and Ecological Defenders and Initiatives for Climate. <laughs> um, so uh, we are uh, very new in this world. We're still a Padawan, uh, and uh, 
We came here with a lot of uh, enthusiasm. Uh, we wanted to uh, feel the force coming from all of you and from all of us. <laughs> and uh, we didn't have a real plan before coming here. Uh, just trying to feel what we could do. And um, at the last minute, we decided something. Um, and we had to meet reality. And maybe we needed to gather more force to balance the dark force of empire. Um, and we just uh, went to uh, make uh, uh, voice some very simple message. Uh, and yeah, the um, dark forces of empire were there also to prevent us from getting higher. Uh, but still, it was a very nice experience. We learned a lot. And we want to thank the organizers of this event uh, for uh, offering this uh, awesome uh, opportunity to play with all of you and the blue team and to learn from each other and that's how the force awakens I think so thank you very much cool girls no? maybe we can see some photos and uh, or maybe not no this group is so mysterious so dangerous that we cannot even show the photographs of their work. And they had a picnic. <laughs> Applause, please, for them. And next up, Black Lungs. Can someone come and talk to us about Black Lungs? They're already home. But we can see the evidence of their greatness <laughs> through exhibit A and B. Thank you. OK, that was that. <laughs> Next up. Hello. Yeah, this year we came back as Peppy and Koki again. <laughs> and we, uh, two sailors, we took a boat and we wanted to go uh, in the harbor where the ships come that import the coal to the coal power plant. So here we went sailing with a little boat, but the blue team, they were cheating. They had the fast speed boat. So <laughs> they tried to block us, but then we decided to change our plan. So we thought to enter the police boat, put up the banner there. <laughs> 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 Yes, we've had a few reports of Blue Team using excessive amounts of fossil fuels today, so I don't know how the judges will consider their, their actions. I don't know what's <laughs> Yay!
the clipometer has this side. So the winner for the award for the most effective action is Kofi Schaike! <laughs> at the Hamburger Forest are actually the Pirates of Hamby. Yeah.